Hi everybody, uh, Dave Danchuk here in Coquitlam, BC, Canada. Uh, this is the greenhouse I built about three years ago. I think, yeah, I think I've had three seasons with it. So I just tried to build uh, something with free materials. So I got the old doors and and got a bunch of stuff off Facebook Marketplace and another similar places. Got the glass pretty cheap off a guy. It was pretty cool. But anyway, uh, so it's been working really good, and uh, I didn't realize until uh, until I was setting up my hydroponic system, converting it to a hydroponic system, that I wanted to figure out how to uh, organize everything, and I realized that the inside of it was 11 by 8.5. I'm like, man, that's the same size as a piece of paper, so that's, that's a pretty convenient thing. Uh, all these plants are all leftovers from last year that they've just kept growing. But I've converted to, as I said, the hydroponic system. So this is what I got now. So I got three uh, tubes there for lettuces and stuff, and strawberries and arugula, which everyone in my family loves, and 15 Dutch buckets. Uh, my reservoir is down here. Uh, got the paint strainer bag on it. Uh, air pump. Uh, or not, or sort of water pump, and then I got two air aerators in there. Comes up. It does two circuits, two loops, so the pressure should be evened out. Uh, I got. Uh, anything that says March 31st or 331 were started from seed. Uh, I think I got this up and running April 20th, so we're about three weeks in. It's, uh, I think it's the 12th today. So peppers from seed, uh, the beefsteak tomato from seed, and then an orange pepper I got from a local plant place. It was four inches, now it's a lot bigger. The zucchini is really taken off, also from the plant place. Well, the roots on this one are pretty incredible. If I can show you here. Already. Look at that. It's even growing overnight. Uh, the jalapeno pepper. Some, this is interesting. This is uh, two pieces of broccoli stems that I just cut off from last year. Uh, you can see it was just here, but it's really starting to sprout, and this one's really kicked up. And I do have the broccoli from seed to compare, but just testing as it's my first time. Uh, a cucumber from seed, another tomato from seed. Uh, this cucumber's really taken off in the last two days. Uh, this cucumber, which I thought I might lose just because it was kind of broken here, but it's really popped up in the last two days. Well, you can see there. And the peas, which I got on uh, April 26th, so that's just two weeks ago they were four inches. Now they're almost reaching my lines here which hopefully they go up and this tomato is now caught up it was also uh, uh, I bought it from the same day from Art Nap so but it's almost caught up to the size of the pea a bush bean from seed and another pea plant uh, yeah so pump I, I got for 10 bucks of a guy off Facebook uh, I cut this top along and just made these clamps to keep everything together, which is helpful. And what else is it? So these, these lines just go down, so all these I can pick up and clean out, and they just go into that, and then down in, into the line and back in. Uh, made the containers, yeah, it's, Hydro 
ton. These clay pellets, which is good. Uh, got all my fittings from Rainbird, which is great. And I used a local, uh, found a local hydronic place, which was kind of funny when I went in there and I was telling them what I was doing. And I said, so what percentage of people uh, are growing vegetables from here? He's like, well, there's you. <laughs> But I went back a, a month later, and, and now people are, more people are starting to do this for growing food. Uh, some cool stuff in here. Uh, the strawberries are just loving it. Their roots are already picking up. This was a strawberry just left over from last year. Same with this one, and it's perking up now. It went in a week after this one. Uh, I got some basil just from cuttings and basil is super easy to do cuttings off you can YouTube that yeah these roots are pretty incredible uh, I got some collards here from seed I got Swiss chard more collards more basil this one looks a little fried I gotta figure out what's going on this is just a piece of celery that I Cut off the bottom, and it's starting to go now. And the arugula, which everyone loves, it's a longer. And the next batch of stuff coming up. Yeah, so this is my uh, my project for the last while, and it's worked out great. Uh, it is on a timer. Uh, right now, I have it on. 30 minutes and off 30 minutes and then off for an hour at night but once they get bigger it'll, and when it gets warmer it'll change that up but yeah uh, this guy was a 4 inch one when it started I bought it on 420 it's really taken off it's pretty cool to see another uh, orange peppers here it just rained that's why everything looks wet. Um, for my ceiling, I just use the uh, the covers of old lighting fixtures. I've had all a little work for a year or two, but I'm on year three, so I'm good. All right, so I wanted to do this so I can uh, kind of see it for myself, and I want to update as it goes along and see what works and what doesn't work. Alright, thanks for watching.